Hello and welcome to Ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to separate dimensions in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so here we are in After Effects and I'm gonna show you three different ways to separate dimensions in After Effects. So the first method is pretty easy, but the only limitation is that it only works on the position property of your layer. So you can't use it on anything else but the position property of your layer. So I'm gonna select the shape layer right here and hit P to reveal the position property. And this position property does have two dimensions. And to separate these two, all you do, just right click on the position property here and then click on separate dimensions. And as you do that, it will separate it for you. And to go back, all you have to do, right click again and then make sure this one is unchecked by clicking on it and it'll go back to the beginning. For the second method, we're gonna do some expressions. So I'm gonna do this. So I want to apply a wiggle expression, not to my X property, but to my Y property. So how, how would I do that without touching the X? Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I'm gonna alt click on the stopwatch here and inside here, I'm gonna type X. You're gonna equal, and I'm gonna say value. In the square brackets, I'm gonna to refer to which index I'm talking about. And in After Effects, you count index starting at zero. So this would be zero and then one, two, and so on. So I'm gonna to refer to this value right here. So I want it to be zero. So I'm wanting the value of this property right in here. So that's gonna be X. And then next I'm gonna say Y, you're gonna be, and then I'm gonna type this wiggle expression in here. So I'm gonna say wiggle, and then inside there I'm gonna say five, like 400, yeah, something crazy. And then we still have to define which index we're talking about here. So I'm gonna say index one for this one. So I'm gonna say square brackets right here, index one. Okay, and then we'll do the usual square brackets and then we'll do X and Y. And so now if I preview this, you can see that it only moves on Y axis. For the last example, I'm gonna use some expression controls. And by the way, I'm gonna continue where we left off in the previous example. So I'm gonna select the shape layer here and then go to the effects controls, right click there and then go to expression controls and inside there, click on the slider control. So I'm gonna bring that into my effects control. And then while it is selected, I'm gonna do control D on my keyboard to duplicate that. And then I'm gonna select the first one, hit enter, and I'll change the name to X position. And the same thing for the second one, hit enter, and I'm gonna change that to Y position. Okay, next, I'm gonna link these two up to the slider. So I'm gonna to go to the X property here and select everything in here, and then just pick whip to the X position. And then for the Y property, I'm gonna do the exact same thing here and then pick whip to the Y position. And so now both of our sliders are linked up. And if I select my shape layer here and hit E to reveal my effects, I'm gonna collapse them down and then select both of them and then hit S twice to solo it. And now I can control X position and Y position separately. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.